I have a lot to share with you guys today, so let's get right to it. First of all, if you are new here, my name is Dee, and this is my 2010 Ford Transit Connect Lady Bugout. And if you are not new around here, you know that I recently took an indefinite break from YouTube. And so now I am going to say what has been happening. It feels like I have been away for so long, but it really has only been about a month. I first of all want to thank all of you who sent so many gracious comments to me and assured me that you would be here when I got back. For some reason that really did help me to have that reassurance from you saying it's okay if you need a break do it and not that I needed your permission but it was good to have your permission and I am really grateful to all of you. <laughs> that last video that I did about this got so many comments and I didn't realize that that would be the repercussion of me saying that I love your comments. There were so many. I think one day I spent about five hours just going through the comments and I really wanted to do it. At one point I almost thought, oh dear, I, I should just write a blanket comment saying I can't answer you all. But I did want to honor the fact that you heard me and you heard that I enjoy your comments. So that to me was very precious and I spent the time to do it. That was my last hurrah before I took my break and it couldn't have been more perfect because I was left with the beautiful sentiments from all of you. So thank you again for that. It really did allow me to unplug and unwind, which is what I really needed to do. I just needed to not think about creating. I needed to just be in a beautiful place and refresh my soul. And I did. The first week or so, I actually contemplated if I would come back to YouTube at all because I started off by saying that if it ceased being fun and started to feel like work, then I don't know that I could do it. So I was contemplating if it was still worth it. What always made it worth it to me was you guys. I knew that there was this void of van life, learning how to do it in an alternative way without a huge investment up front to figure out if you even like this at all. And I really have come to feeling like I've shared about everything that I can for those who are starting out and things to think about and things that I had to think about and figure out and helping you to know how to do those things too. And I have found some great places where I can hang nearby my family and friends. And that was one of the challenges this winter was how can I stay so that I would be around family and friends and not go all the way to the Southwest, which I love too, but I have had to figure out how that works. So all of that to say, <laughs> I questioned whether or not it was worth it for me to continue with my channel at all. By the second week, I felt myself breathing slowly. I felt my thoughts slowing down and it was very healthy for me. I went on a lot of walks. I ate good food. I wrote down thoughts. I played and had fun. Tried to remember what I loved about <laughs> being on the road. I think the aspect of playing around and not having to do anything was huge in my whole recovery, <laughs> I guess you would say. And then about the fourth week, for some reason, and I was driving down the road, I remember the, I remember it happening. I don't 
remember exactly when it was, but I remember this very vivid rush of energy and ideas about the channel. And right when I was really just ready to go, okay, you know, it's not really worth it. I don't know if I can come back from this anyway. And then I got this new rush of ideas and energy for it just in a very relaxed state and so I sat down that evening and just started writing in this little journal of mine that is also a calendar but writing ideas that were popping into my head and that had not happened since I began the channel like I kept going because every week it was pretty fluid for me and I had an idea about what I'd share you I felt interactive because I was listening to your comments and I was like oh yeah they want to know about this okay I'll do a video about this oh they're wanting to do about that okay I'll do a video about that so for me it was like that for years and never thought twice about it until last month when I started just feeling like you know what maybe I've run my course I wanted to share that with you because I am going to stay around. I have some new fun ideas. I did resolve though that I think I'm going to move back to only posting two times a month. So I will be posting on probably the first and third Saturdays of every month. And then I thought maybe I'll sprinkle in a live stream every once in a while because that for me will help me maybe feel like I'm more connected with you rather than trying to respond to all the comments because it can just be time consuming. I think I'll still read them for sure because they're most of the time, like 99.9% .9 of the time, they're very positive. And so that is, really encouraging to me but it also helps me to know what I should be doing. I do think that maybe I will try doing a premiere and in the premieres it allows you to answer comments right away as people are watching your video unfold at the time that it is coming out. So I don't know how many of you can actually watch it at noon on Saturday when it comes out. But if you can, then that means I could maybe talk with you while it's going on. So I'll try that and see how it goes. I will still probably do the fun little interviews that I do with my friends who are on the road too as I meet up with them and see what their new gadgets and gizmos and gear are because I know that that is valuable. It always was fun for me to watch and also to see their rigs and how they do it. But any inspiring ideas really that I get, that was always helpful to me. It still is. I, I watch channels just because I always learn something. So for me, that if I can bring that to you, it is nice to think that I can add that value. And some personal growth things. A lot of what I do is I can attend conferences and retreats and seminars that I never could in the past. I can be anywhere and go anywhere and stay for free because I have my home with me. So I'll see what I share in terms of those kinds of things. It still is part of my growth and journey and I'm not sure how much I want to divulge. I'm ironically a very private person still, even though I share this part of it with you on YouTube. But there are, yeah, a, there's a big part of me that is not part of this channel and doesn't need to be part of this channel. But we'll see, we'll see if it, if I feel that it would be useful to you in some way, I will try to incorporate that as well. So I think that is about all. Again, thank you so much for your love and kindness toward me. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video. I'm in the middle of the forest and so to hear all of a sudden the train come by. I'll wait for that to go. And then I, oh my goodness. <laughs> la, 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 la. I don't know.
know how I, this is out in the middle of nowhere so the train may be very long I think there's a limit to the number of cars that they can have but this feels like it's been going on for five minutes